Hey everybody, today is Sunday, August 23rd, 2015, and this is my Wisconsin Garden Update. What you're looking at here is just some basil that I threw in the ground, or in a grow bag, about four weeks ago, and that's how it's doing. Grow bag's deteriorating, it's been out here for a few years. Anyway, today I'm going to show you an experiment that I started four weeks ago. It's aquaponics on the lake. It's a floating raft of lettuce, and I'm going to bring you up to date on it today, which is four weeks later. And also today, I'm going to show you an update of my garden, and I have a little help from Robert De Niro. So stay tuned and watch the video. Hey guys, I'm going to try a little experiment here. I've been meaning to try it for a few years now, and that's doing aquaponics right in the lake water on a floating raft. I have three quarter inch thick foam board here, and I'm just going to cut some holes in it here and here for the net pots. and. Uh, I guess I'm going to use this cup as a pattern because I don't have any drill bits here with me and this seems to fit perfectly in there. So I'm just going to cut around the edge here so I have a pattern. Alright, there we go. And uh, that looks like a good spot right there. And I'll just trace in the middle around the inner edge of the cup. Okay, then I'll just take my exacto blade and cut around it. What I'll be growing is black Simpson lettuce. This lettuce that you see here is one week old from seed and the roots just started to pop out the bottom of the rock wool. Just one little hair so I think it might be too early. If, if it is then I'll plant some more tomorrow and have that ready in two weeks and have that more established but I'm going to give this a try in the meantime. So right now let's get it into some net pots and some hydrogen and get it into the lake. Okay, I'll just fill the hydrogen in to a decent level. That's about pretty good. I'll put, put it right to the, uh, the rim so it's not completely submerged. So, there we go. Right to there and then boom, 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 fill it in. Just like that. And the same over here. And I'll get some more hydrogen. But you get the idea. Okay, it passed the float test, but the water here is too warm. So I'm going to go over here and into, put it into the taller weeds over there. Maybe that'll help keep it cool. Okay, I have it in place here, and it's shaded a little bit, but maybe not by the direct sun, but I'm hoping that white reflects the light and doesn't heat up the water under it. I'm not sure if that will make a difference, being this is such a big place. Anyway, we'll see what happens, and I'll keep you updated on this. And I'm going up to the garden, but first I smell something on the fire. Mmm, garlic bread. Fast forward four weeks, here we are checking up on the lake aquaponics experiment. And the lake has dropped here quite a bit, seven inches in the past four weeks. And that's because we've been having a, a major drought. And plus the farmers locally are pulling water out of the aquifer. And that really makes the uh, lake go down here. So uh, let's go see how the aquaponics is turning out. I'm just upon it now, right up behind these weeds. And look what happened. Let's 
frogs jumping around here. The lake went down. I could see this from the shore, so I already know what I'm looking at. But uh, I couldn't figure out what would break this up. And then I noticed there's trails through here, and I've seen a muskrat through here. So I'm pretty sure a muskrat either tried to eat the lettuce or tried to hop up on this as a float. Because I know he hops up on these little patches of grass to take a look around. So I'm going to have to use thicker foam. I, make it, I think I'll make it three ply next time. Let's see what's left of this. Yeah, see? All the uh, hydrogen's gone. Rockwell's gone. There's snails in this one. Oh boy. I'll clean this up and we'll give it another try here. A few weeks and it'll be cooler out and I'll put it close to near the pier so that's all for this and let me take you up to the garden quick run through the garden as you can see it's overgrown and as I said we haven't been here for four weeks we had a family re reunion and when you're not here things kind of take off on their own uh, we've had a drought here as I said and um, the a timer for the sprinklers the batteries went dead because they're rechargeable and I usually charge them every two weeks so that kind of screwed things up but everything's still doing pretty good pumpkins are really growing a lot of pumpkin vines and we actually have a pumpkin over here let's see right here That's about the size of a cantaloupe right now. Oh, there's a little one next to it too. That's odd. But that vine came all the way from over there. And uh, actually we, our green beans are still good. And we actually have a bunch to harvest today. I don't know. I could see some in here. It's kind of a lot of grass. But yeah, here. I'm gonna have to pick all these today. And here's the tomatoes. They're falling over on themselves because I haven't been here to tie them up. As you can see, we have some red ones. These are all Rutgers. And yeah, I got a lot of tying up to do. I already started it on in a bit. And um, over here, we have Donna gave me these seeds. These are her Russian mammoth sunflowers. And four weeks ago, they were only two feet tall. And now they're I'd say about nine feet tall and getting a bloom on top. So I'm pretty happy that they took off suddenly. And now that the sprinkler has fresh batteries in it, it'll uh, keep these guys going. And one thing here, the deer must have come through and eaten this one. And I wasn't able to spray it because it used to be only two feet tall and this is all new growth. And a deer must have come by and chewed the whole top off. But he didn't eat the bottom leaves. But maybe it'll come back. I don't know. So uh, anyway, let me show you over here. What I'm going to do is tie up my tomatoes today and then hit everything with ocean solution to give them all the minerals that they need. And um, then I have a special way of bringing uh, seaweed up to the garden that I thought of with a little help from Robert De Niro. And let me show you what my idea is and how I'm going to do it. I said Robert De Niro was going to help me bring seaweed up to the garden, and this is what I was talking about. Some of you already know that a few times a month I'll go to a movie theater, and for the movie studios I install standees and banners. And this banner was just way too big for the area that they needed to have it. So I took it home. And this movie is called The Intern. It's actually coming out on September 25th. And so Robert De Niro is going to help me drag seaweed up from the garden. I figured that I could spread the seaweed out. And um, it wouldn't be so hard as to carry it up in five gallon buckets all the way up the hill. So we'll see how this goes. Thanks Robert. 
So my idea is to spread out the seaweed across the tarp and so there's less weight in one spot. Um, it's way better than carrying five gallon buckets one after another up the hill. And this uh, banner is pretty slick, it's heavy duty and it should slide across the grass easy all the way up the hill. And it's a long way up to the garden past the house, so it's all up the hill. So um, you can give you a look at how I'm going to do this. I'll load it up and uh, take it up there. And um, excuse the wind, it's really strong out here on the lake today. So let me get to it. Let's see how good this works. Here we go. I made it up the hill and it's all the way in the garden. It took me about five minutes, saved a lot of time and energy. And that's why I graduated eighth grade, ideas like this. So anyway, I gotta put all the uh, seaweed around the base of the tomatoes and then I'm calling it a weekend. So that's all, Till next time, take care everybody.